In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on how to use the Library Preview window. When you open up PowerDirector by default, you will not see the window. To make it visible, click on the View menu at the very top, and from the drop-down, choose Show Library Preview Window. By default, it opens it in the middle of the screen, and you see it in the center. Now, it looks virtually identical to your regular Timeline Preview window. What is the difference between the two? Well, this will show you whatever content you have over in your library on the left side, whether it's a title, a video, an image, music, a particle, a special effect. It doesn't matter. It will show it to you and do some things with it depending on the type of content you're clicked on. For example, here I'm going to click on an image, and it will show me the image. Now it has these two icons visible. If you look at them, the one with the arrow on the left says Insert on Selected Track. What that will do is when you select the track in the timeline, it will insert that element and push everything to the right. Let's click here. And now it inserted this image in the middle of the video. I'll do Control Z to undo. The one next to it with the arrow pointing down is overwrite. So I'm at the same location with my cursor. I click on that and it will replace that segment with this. So that's the difference between the two options. You have insert or overwrite. I can also do that with a video, but I have some more options. So let's click on this video file. Again, it's not on my timeline, but now I have the video here and I can play the video by clicking on the play icon or I can do some other things with it. I also have the insert and I have the override options, but I also have a mark in and mark out. So I can take this particular video, move to my mark in location. I can use the cursor. I can use the time code and click on mark in. And I can do the same thing with a mark out. Let's say we want to end that in 04. I'll type in the number four there and click on Mark Out, and now I've changed that. So that's the duration of it. If I drop it inside the clip by using either the Insert or Overwrite, I will only get this range of my particular video. The other option I have is I can move in there with my marker and click here, and then I can click on this icon that will add a clip marker. So I'm going to click on there. We'll just call this Test. And now I have a clip marker. Let's insert this. We'll click on the insert icon. And now I inserted it here. But if I drag up a bit, you notice I also have this clip marker. So I can do all this pre-work right here in the preview window for the library in the center. So these are some of the options I have with video. And I can also obviously click on a music file and I can play it and listen to the music. So that's video, that's pictures, that's images, all the things you expect in your media room. But that's not all. If I click on the title room, I'm also going to be able to see the titles that I have. And the nice thing I like about it in the title room is it gives me a way in which I can see them larger than the small thumbnail without just increasing the size of all the thumbnails in my preview. So now I can look at these one at a time. I can see what they're going to do. And it, it's, it's nice. Again, you can insert on the selected timeline and overwrite as well when it comes to titles. Still another option is I can do this also. If I click on the area on the left, I can do this with transitions. So I get a better picture of what the transitions will do because obviously the screen is larger than the small icon. So it's nice if you want to select between different kinds of transitions. Same way with special effects. I can click on this special effects, choose the category of effect that I want. Let's do Autumn Vibes. Click on here and now I have a pretty nice screen in which I can see what that effect will look like. Once again, I can go to the particle room and click on a particle. And when I click on that, and there I see the particle in action. So it's, it's just a nice way to see all the content. Uh, that, was a, that was a pip object, and this is a particle. I can do that on particles as well. I also can go to the video intro and outro room, 
and I can click on a video intro I want to ex examine. Let's take the business one, open up this category. Let's go to business meeting and we can play this. I downloaded it and now we can play that. And there I get to see everything that's part of that particular element. So it's just a nice way to preview and use the things that I see here. Now in this case, it will not take the video intro or outro and allow you to drop it on the timeline. What you need to do is double click on it. That's why these are grayed out. And when you do that, it will get you into your editor for video intro and outro. You need to go through the editor process before you can put it on the timeline. But I find that the center window available for me, this preview window for all my library content can be very helpful at times. And if you decide you don't want to have it on the screen anymore, you just click on the X and the space is now replaced by your regular timeline preview. So it's a real easy thing to turn in and off and use as needed in CyberLink PowerDirector.